Hello everyone. In this lecture, we're going to discuss addition of two OH groups across the dial bonds. That's called dihydroxylation, and the addition will happen from the same side of the alkene. You know that alkenes usually are planar, so addition can happen from the top or can happen from the bottom. So that would most likely lead to stereochemistry. There are few reagents that can do syn dihydroxylation, okay, and we have three of them here. So the first option is using osmium tetroxide followed by n methylmorphlin N oxide as a oxidant to regenerate the osmium tetroxide once it's used up or osmium tetraoxide and pyridine followed by reducing agent sodium, sodium hydrogen sulfate dissolved in water. The other option is to use potassium permanganate water in presence of aqueous sodium hydroxide, but it, it has to be in cold conditions. If you use hot conditions, the double bond will be cleaved. You end up with a cleaved molecule giving two compounds so it has to be called now let's since it's in hydroxylation so in the first option that you get is the OHS being added to from the top side you're going to get wages if it's added from the back side it's going to give you dead hashed bonds now if it's added from the back then the pre-existing groups will be flashed up in this case the pre-existing group is the methyl and the hydrogen right if you're adding from the top the hydrogen and the metal will be flashed back okay so that will happen if you have all these three reagents so that tells you that down here the product is the same because these three reagents do the same thing So probably it just depends on what you have available in your lab to use. And you have equal chances of forming them because you have 50% equal chance of attacking from the top or bottom. So you get enantiomers and it's going to be racemic mixtures. That means one product will, has an equal chance of being formed 50% chance, 50% chance. So if you're forming, if, you're for, if you have a one gram sample, 0.5 grams will be for this product, 0.5 grams will be for this stereoisomer. Right? I have a short mechanism for you here involving osmium tetroxide. The pi bond of the oxygen from the osmium tetroxide structure will attack the sp2 carbon of the alkene, and the double bond has to open up attacking the other oxygen bonded to the osmium metal center, and the double bond next door will open up towards the osmium you get this tetra you get this intermediate five member ring intermediate plus the enantiomer because you could add this group from the top or the bottom and that's why we are getting two products either this or it's enantiomer after reduction if you're using sodium tetraoxide followed by sodium hydrogen sulfide as an example that's what you get Okay, but mechanisms involving osmium tetroxide will just be similar, especially the first steps. All right, so let's look at examples. Okay, the question is fill in the missing reaction products showing stereochemistry are possible using wedged and hashed bonds, hashed bonds, and we need to label major and minor. Or, or label them as racemic mixtures. So in this case, I've been talking about racemic mixtures. That's what we expect. Again, we are doing syn addition, that same phase addition of two OHs. So if you are adding from the top, expect this to be a product. If you're adding from the bottom, the two OHs from the bottom, then expect this to be a product where the metal there will be flashed up and the ethyl will be flashed up. Here the ethyl is flashed back, the metal is flashed back because you're adding from the top. 
Next question. In question B, you're going to expect four possible products if you're going to add on both sides of the die in um, on, from the same face. But this time you're using osmium tetroxide and NMO. It says excess because you have two alkenes to add across. So we expect all that should react to react. All right. So this is if you're adding the four OHS from the bottom, the substance will be flushed up. Here the sub substance will be flushed back. The three metals and the ethyl will be flushed back. Now you this to your left could the OHS could add from the top. That's seen addition. And then to your right. It could be adding opposite, so it's possible to get this structure too. Then there's one more where I'm going to add opposite of this, where to your left, the OH is adding, the two OHs are adding on the bottom face in addition, added at the same time, and to your right, they are added from the top face. Okay, so you get those mixtures of the nitro mass and industrial mass here assume you okay if you're using osmium tetroxide period in a room temperature followed by reduction in sodium hydrogen sulfide first product assume you're adding from the top and the other one is gonna be added from the bottom flashing the two metals up. Now these compounds you should realize that this compound has an eternal plane of symmetry and because it has an both of them are have eternal plane of symmetry they are termed to be mes meso compounds so you only show draw one of them as an answer because if you flip this guy over if you flip it over like a pancake like that not rotating flipping it you're going to get this product. So you only show one of this. Next question. Okay, using same conditions, similar conditions for this. Now you know the story. We're just going to add the OHS again. From the top face, the pre-existing groups are H's, so the H's will be flashed back in that case. And in the other case, you're adding the two OHs from the bottom face, flashing the OHs to the top. Next question. Okay, looks like we are forming an antimus all around. This time you're using NMO. Don't worry about the excess, just one equivalent is enough. Let's assume you're adding the OHS from the top, so you have to use the wages. And if you're adding from the bottom, you have to use the hatched bond again. By now, you should have gotten the concept. We are just like doing many examples so you can understand. So you get enantiomers again, like we've been doing, enantiomers and their resmic. You get a resmic mixture 50% 50% equal chance formation okay. this question same thing OHS adds either from the top or adding from the bottom now in this case again we are going to say this or this because again this molecule has an internal plane of symmetry the left side is reflected to the right side so it's this so you only show one of these in your answer but not both 
because they are one and the same thing. Next question. Here, let's show our hydrogens, right? So again, that tells me we should have our hydrogens there. We had our hydrogens before the reaction started. That tells you if you do hydroxylation from the top, the OH will come up here. The other OH will come here, but there's no need to show stereochemistry because this carbon is not asymmetric. You have for carbon to be asymmetric, you have to have four different groups around it. So here, no need to show stereochemistry because this bond can rotate around whichever way it wants, and you just can't decide which hydrogen is which. So same thing here. We're going to do hydroxylation. But this time adding from the bottom flashing the metal up here the metals flash down because you added the two watches from the top you get again enantiomers and the enantiomers are racemic equal chance of formation no major no minor next question this time we are using potassium permanganate in water uh, in presence of sodium hydroxide and cold heat so we don't because we don't want to cleave the molecule apart to kill the ring to make a chain if you heat you're going to oxidatively key, uh, cleave the double bond into two so the temperature really has to be cold okay that's discussed in another video Again, if you're adding from the top, the metal and the ethyl will be flashed back as shown in the first case. So we use a wedge there and a wedge here. There's no internal plane of symmetry, so you want to show both products. Okay. Again, you get an antimus, racemic mixtures. So for the last question, we'll do this one i told you this is not a asymmetric carbon so if you're adding from the top using potassium permanganate water sodium hydroxide cold temperature alternative this is what you have and for the other molecule that's what you will have these two guys are enantiomers you've dihydroxylated the alkene and the product is racemic all right so that's just a simple a lecture simple concept you just have to master your reagents know all options of reagents that can do dihydroxylation and you should be good see you soon bye